All right, guys, so the coot is out of the garage. I'm going to go ahead and me and Easton, my son, and McKenna, she wants to be on camera. Come here, McKenna. Say hi. Say hi. Um, we're going to go ahead and start. Yeah, that should be high enough. We're going to go ahead and get the motor. Start yanking the motor out of the dark. Um, um, I haven't showed you guys it yet. Um, the car is pretty solid for what it is and for what I have in it. So I traded a 69 340 motor for it. Um, straight up for this car. It's a 318 car. It was originally a tan gold color with like off-white interior. Someone painted the car green and then dyed the interior black. And they painted all the rubbers on the door jams. It's probably a long time ago when the car was painted. But um, it's a factory 318 car. Um, it's got drum brakes. It's a 71. It's got drum brakes. Uh, factory air conditioning car. Um, but at one time it had dual exhaust on it because it's got hangers. Which... I got a question for you Mopar guy. So on a 318 car, I've never seen an oil filter adapter for the headers. Um, for a small block on a 318 car, I'm guessing it's not stock, but it looks like it's been on there forever, which I'll show you guys in a video when I show you guys the car. So actually, let's go ahead and show you guys the car right now. All right, we already got the front end jacked up. Um, all the wiring and everything is disconnected from the motor. Um, you can see the original color of the car. I don't know why they painted it green, but as you look, it's got an oil filter adapter on it. But it's got manifolds on it. It's kind of puzzling. I don't know, but it is a factory air conditioning car. Um, the car is pretty much complete. We have all the trim, we have the bumpers, all the trim, molding, everything for it. Um, it was a vinyl top car originally. And of course, like every vinyl top car, um, it must have been rusty there. Someone's got Bondo. It's got a pinhole there. There's several pinholes on it like that. Um, but yeah, it's actually a pretty solid car. And if you look down the side, it's pretty straight. This here quarter is the worst quarter. Of course, the inner has got some rust. Um, we're just going to put a whole quarter skin on this side and then uh, call it good. That's my kids. Stop it, you guys. But this is a 416 out of the CUDA. We're going to put that in the dark with this 727 right here. Um, and then we got the shifter. We got a flex plate. We got a stall converter. We got drive shaft. Um, got springs. Got disc brakes for it, big bolt pattern disc brakes. We got an eight three quarter rear end for it as well. Um, but that's the car. Um, I'll show you the inside. It was missing the carpet and the front seat, but my uncle Jimmy is giving us um, a front seat out of his 60. He's got a 69 Valiant. So we're getting a front seat out of it for this. But look what color that was. But, I mean, they painted everything. If you look, it's all green. Uh, what sucks is the dasher's got one big crack in it, and that's it. Um, the headliner split there. Dad. What, baby? Look at the package tray in this car. It's crazy. Package tray is fine. But it's got some pinholes on the floorboards but we have all the like i said we have all the trim there's the headlight buckets right there there's the front bumper i took mothers to it like two years ago before we put the car in storage and just seeing how clean it come and this is just going to be a driver car um we're actually not even going to paint it we're just going to throw the 416 in it throw my welds on it i got a set of rts's we're going to throw them on it and we're just going to have fun with it. We got headers for the car. Um, we already got an exhaust system for the car. This here is off of our friend's car. It's a uh, three inch. But I mean, we have like literally everything for this car um, with the exception of a uh, fuel tank and um, 
We don't have a wiper motor for it, but this is it. I mean, the inner fenders are really solid. The floorboard's pretty solid on it as well, too. But um, it's got a small ding right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but we're going to go ahead and yank this motor. Um, the sun's starting to go down. We're going to go ahead and yank this motor, get it out of here, and uh, we'll show you guys when we get it out. Well, guys we came to a halt on the dart 416 project um so when i got this car over a year ago i knew that the frame rail on the passenger side where the torsion bar goes through where these ae bodies always rust i knew it had been patched and um wasn't really that concerned about it because it didn't look that bad and they did a pretty good patch job on the torsion bar frame rail cross member um so i wasn't really that concerned about it well after looking at it now since keep in mind i got this car and it went straight to my storage building um i looked it over really, really quick and then i ended up giving it to my dad for his birthday and then I drug the car to my storage building. So it's been sitting inside out of the weather for like the last year and a half or two years, however long we've had this car. And um, this is the first time I've actually crawled up underneath a car. Um, I'm not really mad because technically I didn't lose any money because I, so that 340, that 69 340, it came with my 73 Dart Sport that had the four speed in it. Um, I didn't put the 340 in it. It had 13 half to one compression. It had a big cam. Um, so I ended up buying a 360 and I put the 360 in my Dart Sport. Well, I bought that car and it, it was my dad's friend's car from high school. He got the car for graduation. He's had it all this time. And I kind of got, I sold my dart swinger to buy a 383 Air Grabber four speed Roadrunner. But I kind of got screwed out of that deal. I showed up to the guy's house with cash on a Monday from my dart swinger that I sold. And the dart was all numbers matching everything else nice car beautiful car and i sold it to another guy on the fire department with me and the guy with the roadrunner i talked to him friday i went over there said hey i said you gave me a price on the roadrunner you know if i come up with the money would you still sell it to me or would you trade me for my dart he's like yeah he's like i need to sell it i'll sell it and we're talking this is an older guy long story short so I called my buddy on the fire department with me, told him, hey, I'm going to sell the dart. I'm going to put it up for sale. I want to give you a first shot at it or whatever. Well, lo and behold, he come over Saturday morning, looked at the car. He drove it. He didn't make it in the bank on time. So he showed up Monday with the money, cash in hand. He bought my dart. I already had my Cummins hooked. I already had the trailer hooked to the Cummins. I grabbed the money, threw it in my hoodie front pocket, went straight over to this old man's house that had this Roadrunner. So, long story short, I should have known better because I've had this, I had that Roadrunner bought three times. Three different times. Every time I showed up with cash, it wasn't for sale. So, I really shouldn't have been surprised this time around, but I was really mad because I just sold my car. That Monday morning, the same Monday morning, I went to his house to buy the Roadrunner. I talked to him the Friday before, and he said, yeah, it's for sale. I'm going to sell it. Pulled in his driveway, backed the trailer up to the garage, got out. I had already had the money counted out that I was going to give him. So I reached in my pocket, my hoodie pocket. I pulled it out, said, here, here's your cash money for the Roadrunner. He's like, man, I can't sell you that car. He's like, my son decided he wanted that car. 
but you just told me Saturday, or you just told me Friday that you're going to sell the car. I know, I, I can't sell it though. My son wants the car, it's going to cause all kinds of problems. Needless to say, I jumped in the comments and to say that I left out of there very nicely is an understatement. Um, so I called my dad, told my dad what happened and we've known about this dark sport. My brother actually tried buying this car several times. Um, it was a beautiful car, white, black interior, four speed V8 car. Um, but dad called him or dad sent him a message on Facebook said, Hey, think a guy could come get that dart sport tonight. He said, yep, bring a set of wheels and tires. So dad called me. He's like, Hey, do you want that dart sport? I said, yeah. So I didn't end up getting the Roadrunner Monday. I ended up getting a 73 dart sport V8 four speed car that this guy, Hey Cruz, don't break that. He, he's throwing a toy, trying to break his, his sister's toy. Um, But I ended up buying that car and it came with a 340. I put the car together um, and I ended up selling it. And I sold it for more than what I had in it. Um, it just, I should have kept the car. I really should have. I, I should have kept it, but it wasn't what I wanted. Um, so I sold it. Everyone tried talking to me out of it. My girlfriend, Ashley, she tried talking me out of it. She told me not to sell it. Hey, bub. I want chips. Okay, well, I don't have the chips. Your brother's got the chips. So, long story short, that 340 that I got with the Dart Sport is what I traded for the 71 Dart Swinger. 71 Dart Swinger is complete. Factory 318 AC car. So, now we are going to man it sucks because like the exhaust and everything else we have is for an a body like literally the disc brake setup the headers which honestly we don't have very much money in any of this stuff so it's not like a big loss plus we can find another a body um to throw all this stuff in but um yeah so I'm not really mad because I really have no money in this car. So it's not like I have $3,500 in this car or anything like that. I literally have no money in it because I made money off the white Dart Sport. Um, so, but anyway, uh, before it gets any darker here, I'm going to show you guys the bad spots on the frame, which the one spot I knew, I wasn't really worried about it because... We weren't going to build a show car out of this car. It was just going to be a cool street car. Cruz, why did you push her? That's not cool, man. He just... They're fighting. Over the red chair. But anyway, I'll show you guys the frame rail. Some of you guys will probably be like, that's nothing. Which, it isn't, but I don't like doing this stuff. Plus, let alone, I don't know how to. I can weld, but I can't weld. Like... I wouldn't weld anybody else's stuff up. My stuff I weld up. So let me show you guys this. Alrighty. So here's a plate that they plated. I seen the bottom part when I got the car. Um, I think I may have seen the back part too. The back part's really not plated that bad. Um, but I did not see that hole there. I did not see that hole there that's soft which that there's supposed to be a hole there um and if you look so i don't know if you can tell it or not there you go they welded the patch thing that they made all the way around and they welded it over top the cross member however i can still get the cross member out because i just had it out so this stuff here really didn't bother me that much, okay? Um, what did bother me is there's a spot there. Then you have all these pinholes going up the normal frame rail where they all rust out. 
and then you have a hole there which it wasn't like that I may have pried on a screwdriver trying to clean it out to see how bad it was but that's where we are now but look it sucks because look at these floorboards look at the underneath of this car I mean this car is really clean other than that look at the rockers so and look how straight the car is and this car is pretty straight i mean but it is what it is so i guess we're in the market for looking for another a body um i guess we're going to see what we can find or maybe completely change plans maybe we'll do something else but i'll let you guys know thanks for watching